Good morning, you ladies. My name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome back to PC Building Simulator. Check out this rocking intro. It's awesome. I love it. So I played. It's very loud. I played a small little demo version of this game a while ago. There was very little computer cases in it. There was almost no components. You only get to build a very small little tiny piece of what you could for a regular PC. Um, so there wasn't that many mechanics in it. But now it's it's a more fully formed game now, and they're actually in conjunction and in partnership with a lot of actual component makers and case makers and computer building component companies. This is what the fuck am I trying to say? Three conjunction with a bunch of them, so a lot of the stuff from actual PC building is in this game now. Which I find fascinating, because I love building PCs. I've built all my own PCs for all the YouTube stuff that I'm doing. Um, and I love doing it. It's it's very, very fun to do, and I love getting it all perfect and neat and tidy and, oh, so lovely. And then hitting the power button and having it all come on for the first time. It feels awesome. Not as awesome as this music, though! Um, so, I didn't realize there was a career in the game. I was just going to go into free build. I've, eventually, I want to try and make my actual PC and go through that and put in all the components that I have actually in this one. Because I've been using this one for years on YouTube and I, I have a few upgrades here. I just haven't moved on to them yet because I have to move all the stuff over. Game save files, I have to move over game install folders, all the softwares that I use. It's just too much hassle so I haven't done it yet, but I should because this one's kind of showing its age by now. Um. Let's just go into career then. I don't I need I don't need to know how to build a PC. I know how to build a PC. It's like Lego. Welcome to PC Building Simulator. To begin, go to your PC by the doorway and open the email program. On the desktop, you've got mail. Ooh. Oh, nice. Wow. This is fun. Look at this nice place. I live here. I've the ghost fridge. GHOST TABLE! TWO GHOST TABLES! I don't want to live in this creepy ghost world anymore. Okay, you've got mail. Dude, this is neat. Um, thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry, it's not in a better state. I know, California, what am I gonna do? A few things, the company isn't doing very well and there's no money in the bank account. <laughs> Aces? <laughs> the rent and energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money for them. Okay, I had a job on the go. Oh, so I'm building PCs for people. Ah, but one job to go, which should help with the rent. See the email below. Remember to use your thermal paste when putting in a CPU. I almost always forget when PCs overheat. Yeah, you put a tiny little piece on top. So you think you're all set up? It's your company now, so run it. Fuck me. Okay. I hope you can. Oh, hi Tim. Hi. I'm Tim. Apparently, I'll be your <laughs> computer maker. Hope you can help me. My computer has been running slower than usual and I think I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? Go to PC. Oh, okay. What am I doing? Okay. I am fixing a PC. Oh, I feel like I, I'm in a country western game. PC can boot to OS, remove viruses. Okay, click to work on this PC, press P to power, okay. It's not plugged in, got it. <laughs> For this job, you need to run a virus scan. Press three or the cable button and plug the monitor keyboard. Oh my God, you have to do everything. Okay, do I have to grab the cable somewhere? Okay, that's the power, yeah. This is keyboard and mouse and shit. Okay, what do we got? We got USB 3? Oh wait, no, you're the- Ah, you're just a HDMI. Okay, cool. Now you need to put your USB drive into the back of the PC so you can install the virus scanner. Press 1 or the install button. Jeez, man, this is fun! Oh! In we go. Put in my little dongle. Now press P or the power button to turn the PC on. Click on the monitor to use the operating system. The amount of people out there who make money off scanning people's computers. Like, people with bad laptops or bad desktops or something, you just bring it in and they scan it and remove the shit and then give it back to you. And then it's like, yeah, it's $400, please. I mean, not that much. But, they make so much money off doing that kind of thing. It's so easy. It's so easy to do. Also, stop clicking on weird shit. Also, get, like, malware bites or something. Um, okay, power. 
She's on. Default heat sink and everything. All right, do I have to go over to the computer now? Remove the viruses. Insta- I forget what it told me to do. Can, can, can I- can I- I don't need to remove stuff! Oh, I can just go over here and click on that. All right, got it! Install the virus scanner. Welcome to Omega OS. Click add remove programs to install the virus. Uh, lighting virus scanner. This is fun! <laughs> I want to do this as my job. I love PCs. I love electronics. I love getting my my teeth into like fixing shit like this. There's so many times when parts of my PC have broken or stuff uh, has not worked or clashed or collided or something. I'm like, okay, how do we figure this out? How do we get into you? You must restart your PC. Restart now. Yeah, baby. Are, are we- are we good? Did- did you do it? Start scanning. Ah. Oh. Files infected! 400! Get off Pornhub! Even though Pornhub wouldn't have viruses on it. Um, it's all the weird, crazy websites that no one knows about that has all the weird shit on it. Um! I've heard! You've removed all the viruses and the PC is ready to be returned to the client. Pick the PC back up with the right- mice button. Ew, that's fucking words. Okay, just unplug all the shit. Collect your reward! Great! Now you just need to collect your pay, go to your email and hit collect. Ah, oh, the future! Um... Oh. I got a hundred dollars for that! All I did was plug shit in, scanned for a virus, remove 400 files, and I got a hundred dollars for that! You must be paying me for my time! Hi there, I just want to say thank you for fixing my PC. It's booting faster than it has in years. Yeah, because it doesn't have a shit ton of nonsense on it anymore. I didn't realize your uncle had gone away. Looks like the business is in good hands though. Yeah, he left. He left the whole business to me. I don't know what to do it! So this guy needs... Hi, my graphics card has fried itself and it, need to, it needs to be replaced with same one, please. I didn't know Jamiroquai did the soundtrack for this game. An NVIDIA GTX 970. Maybe one of those... Sean ones. How did he know my name? 970, so you wanted one of these ones. I'm just going to get you a base one. I don't know if you have an ATX or a micro ATX motherboard. Cool. Use the delivery options to choose way when best to receive your components. Often it's better to pay for faster delivery than, wa than wait days to retrieve things. Okay. Oh, bye now. Okay. Um... Three to five working this same day delivery. A hundred dollars! Next day delivery, please. Hundred dollars same day delivery. What do you think I do? Remove viruses for a living? Christ! I'm going to the door. I'm going to the door. I need to advance the day. I've left the workshop. I don't care anymore. Ooh. Oh, yeah, baby! Okay, fix, scan... Upgrade. This is the one that we were just doing. I'm gonna continue with this one as I bust out of these sick jams. Ha ha ha! That's not the fucking one that I need. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Let's remove the side panel. Okay, Jesus, man. <laughs> I have to do every little thing. I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's fun. It's therapeutic when you're making your own computers. Like actually sitting down, unscrewing everything, just turning off your brain, putting all the components in, making sure it's all nice, neat, and tidy. You kind of have to be a little, you have to be a little rough with it sometimes. You have to be a little aggressive with the PC. Because sometimes you have to click things in, and sometimes you have to push, like the CPU stuff down, you're afraid that you're gonna bend your pins and all that kind of stuff. It's not gonna happen, unless you're a fucking moron. It might happen to some people. Um, never happened to me though, because I'm a- I'm a genius. Okay, uh, we'll stall you. Do you actually have different buses? Do you have different PCI slots? Because I don't want to put you in an X8 slot if you're going to be putting into an X- X16 slot, okay? You, you know what I mean? You, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh, and you can filter it by stuff that only fits this PC. Nice, okay, I need PC parts and I need the side panel to go back on. There we go. It's a simple. That's that's really all it is. Installing a new GPU. And the best part about installing a new GPU is that you don't have to mess with OS stuff. 
Because installing a new GPU is just take out the old one, put the new one in, plug in your displays, and you're good to go. For the most part, unless your computer decides to be an asshole, which sometimes it does. But that's all it is. That's all putting a huge amount more horsepower into your PC. That's all it takes. Can I not click on you guys? Oh, cables. Um, yeah, because if you replace your, your CPU, your CPU is basically your brain. Whereas your GPU is the muscles. Think of it that way. Um, <laughs> very poor analogy, but when you replace the brain, then it takes a lot more. It's, it's a lot more finicky to try and, like, upgrading your CPU is not as easy as upgrading your GPU. Let's just put it that way. Sometimes it's actually a pain in the ass. It's really not that hard, but it's just that you have to put a whole bunch more shit into it and I don't like it. Okay, let's go back over here, boot to OS. Works flawlessly. Insert USB drive in the PC to continue. Am, am I done? Leave by the door. I am done! Okay. <laughs> Plug out all the shit. Nice, 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 nice. Tight, 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 tight. Um, I'm actually gonna put you down here. There we go. Um, this is just a quick scan. Oh, God. Did a family of rabbits live inside this PC? Ew! PC can boot to OS, remove viruses, clean out dust. This is an all-day job. Mother of God. Compressed air. No! I don't want to be using compressed air, okay? Did that do it? Okay. Oh, nice. I, I don't use compressed air because I used to use them a lot, and then it was just like buy can after can after can, which is fine, but I ended up buying a... It's a it's an electric motorized one that blows air. Never use a vacuum on your PC, by the way, ever. Or like consoles and stuff. Consoles are okay because they're usually shielded on the outside for cases. But do not stick a vacuum cleaner or a Hoover inside your freaking PC, because all that's going to end up doing is that you create static and you're going to fry your components. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. So I got a uh, an electric air blower, an anti-static one that just blows air all over the place. And it's fantastic. It really, it made, it made, um, cleaning my PC just so f effortless. Ah, there we go. Looks like brand new again. I love it. I love it. It's rotten. All right. I need to put my USB drive in the back again. Install my portfolio of, uh, Japanese art. Let's install a virus scanner. What virus scanner do we have though? You also gotta be careful about those, cause some of them are fucking viruses on their own. Like, what was the one I was using before? Avast? Avast is horrible. Avast is impossible to remove from your PC. Not impossible, it's just a pain in my ass. 397 files, well, I can't remember your name last time, you still win for all the porn that was on your computer. Um, are we good? Leave by the door. Hell yeah! I love this! This is fun! It's so therapeutic. Oh, frick. I need a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Mortoni Easy Store. It's $50. I'm gonna make hard same day delivery. $100. Okay, we're gonna incur the cost. We're gonna incur the cost just to get it right now. Just so I can do it. Okay, cool. Wouldn't that be horrible if I got the wrong one? That better not be the wrong one. I swear to God. What the fuck? Okay. Um, storage. Put that one in there. Do I have to remove this as well? I mean, that makes sense. I don't want to break the game, but whatever, man. Nice. Okay. I'm assuming I have to wire you up. Where the... Where the hell are the cables for it? Oh. Oh, that's easy. So you need to connect... Okay, a lot of pe people who build PCs already are going to know exactly what's going on, but... You need to connect the, the SATA cable, the SATA cable, which handles all the, the bandwidth, and then you need to install a, like, a ribbon cable, or... I don't know. I don't think hard drives have actually updated a lot. Um, or ever. They all use the same power supply, but you install that in the back. Uh, 
uh, for the power. Right, okay, we need to install back on the PC part, side panel, you go on here, and it boots to OS. Look at that. And leave by the door. You betcha! Okay, am I good to go? Oh, I guess I could have completed the orders here. Wow, yeah, that was worth it. That was well worth it! The hundred dollars that I used to pay for my shipping, I just got it back right here. I have 5.95. Nice. Leveled up! Congratulations, you've reached level two. You've unlocked Cryorig case fans. Never heard of Cryorig. Ooh, I unlocked a bunch of i3s and i5s and i7s. I can't remember what I have in my- in- in this one it's an i- It's a- it's a 4770K. I think it's been ages since I put it in. Um, and I think in that one over there it's an i7 6700K. And then in the other PC that I have, yes, I have a lot of computers. I like computers. Um, uh, it's an, a Ryzen... Oh, I'm not familiar with Ryzen's naming scheme. It's a very high-end Ryzen. It's a 16-core processor, which is a fucking beast. It re This PC right now, the one that I'm using to record this, the one that I use for almost everything, to edit an hour-long video, it takes about 40 minutes to an hour to render that video. Because this PC is so bloated by now, it has everything on it. This other one takes an hour to do this one, takes 15 minutes to do it on this other one. It's so fucking fast, it's scary. But I've had issues with it, so... Um, upgrade the 16 gigabytes of RAM. Okay. Remove viruses, okay. And replace air cooler, clean out dust. Okay. So I need 16 gigs of RAM. Two of these is also going to cost less than four of those. I really hope that you do not fuck me up by being an XL. I need- you need to replace air cooler? But you didn't- Is it the one on the CPU or just the case fans? Oh, I guess these are- yeah. Okay, it's all in here. Um, because if I'm going with the- If I'm going with the heatsink, on the- the CPU, I'm gonna have to figure out what kind of socket you have. Cause these are like- these are AMD and these are Intel. Okay, you want the cheapest fans, so I guess these, they're ten dollars? I- I don't know how many you need, so I'm just gonna get three. View cart, next day delivery. Bajiz dang. Is that everybody? Remove virus. Okay! On to the next day of work! Oh! Ding ding ding! We have a winner! 404 files need to be cleaned! Oof! That's rough, buddy. That's a lot of viruses on there. Well, might not be viruses, it might just be a whole bunch of cookies and shit that I found. Um, so this is the- this is the RAM one. This is the make or break. Ooh, nice case! Very nice! Are you- are you 12 and live with your parents? Sick, dude! Alright, we're gonna remove this side panel. Oh, and I didn't even have to unscrew anything. Okay, I don't need to remove the motherboard, I just need to remove the RAM stick. Oh my god, you actually have to do everything. It's so weird, because in, in real life it's all, like, obviously it's very intuitive, you just go in and you're like, oh, just click, click, whatever. But in this, like, you forget because it's a game, you just click on shit, but you actually have to do everything. I think that's awesome. This is, uh, by the way, this game is very, very accurate to how it is to actually build a PC. And one of the reviews I saw on Steam for this game was really cool because they said they had a computer that their friend built. Computers started to mess up on them and because they didn't build it and they didn't know anything about building computers, they decided not to touch it because they thought they'd break it even further. So what they did was they got this game, put all the stuff from the actual computer they had into the game and then they were able to fiddle around all they wanted in the game to try and figure out the problem. And then they learned. They learned stuff on how to build computers in real life by playing this game. This is awesome. This isn't just a game. This is an actual, like, testing tool to see how things look and work and how stuff fits in. It's amazing. Um, okay, install. We are going to memory. All right. Do you have colored channels? No, because normally what it is is that, well, m most modern motherboards, you can just put them all in anywhere you want. But they have colored channels to make sure, so it's like blue, green, blue, green. So you put the, in the blues first and then the greens. 
Um, I don't know if it's... It's been a while since I, I built my last PC. Why can't I put you in? Oh, I actually have to open up the clip. Really? <laughs> That's weird! But also completely accurate! No, close the clip. There we go. Because when you push it in, the cl clips close on their own. Okay, let's install back on the the side panel. She works. Not a bother. Even though you <laughs> we could still run into RAM issues later on. I could, could have still messed up your PC. Um, not likely, because I know what I'm doing. Okay? Um, oh, more cleaning dust. It's so gross! What am I- why- why am I cleaning that? Why am I cleaning that? That's glass. Because I know what I'm doing. There we go, I'm installing the fan. Just like they asked. Wait, you didn't even have a fan on the front. You just had a dust filter. Where was the suction coming from? You need to create a stream. From front to back. Madness. Absolute madness. You know what, I'm installing two. Just so you can have airflow, all right? Do you seriously not have power for another fan? Really? Son of a bitch. It says broken parts. You did mean the CPU! No! That means I'm gonna have to pay extra to ship one out now. God damn it, I knew it. I fucking knew it. M9A or M9... I oh balls. I don't know what socket you have. Mortoni Thermal 100. Oh no no no. I don't want two. No no. Pay a hundred dollars anyway for same day delivery because I'm stupid. <sighs> okay, thermal paste. There you go. A pea-sized amount. That's all you need. Oh wait, I didn't go collect it. <laughs> I was like, it's broken? How did it arrive broken? Because it's here. My bad. There we go, air cooler done. Well, you know what? Just for that Audrey, anyway, I'm putting in a, a case fan. In the front, okay? It'll keep everything running nice and cool. Your stuff is getting clogged up and blocked and overheating anyway, so... It'll still get clogged and blocked if you don't clean it. But at least now, you know, you, you'll at least have cool parts. Not only temperature-wise, but just really dope shit. Boom. I'm a fucking wizard. I'm a what? I'm a fucking wizard. Time to collect my monies. 320, 200, 270. Sick. Missing thermal paste. Oh, right. That's the next one. I was like, I did not forget thermal paste. I put it in specifically. Alright, let's see what happens. Run 3D Mark. Okay, no problem. Replace motherboard. I'm just gonna get you the one for $100. I should figure out what the next thing is. Install Sheen Power King 600 or better. Well, all we have is the 600, so you're gonna have to deal with that. Boom! Your order will arrive tomorrow. Nice! Good night, everybody! That's a day of PC building! In the bag! Okay, well that does it for this video on PC Building Simulator. I could honestly spend hours in this game. I could spend hours just diddling with computers all day because it's fun. And I feel like, like, because I know what I'm doing, I feel like I'm, I'm putting some real work in. And it's always the case of people being like, wow, you put your own PC together? That's crazy! I'm like, yes. Yes it is. I'm a genius. <laughs> It's really not that hard at all. Um, and I'd highly advise anybody who has any interest in making their own computer to just go for it. The, the first place to start is with a game like this, or you can just look up tutorials on YouTube. That's what I did when I wanted to start building computers. And normally when you build computers, you get warranties. Well, a good pre-built one, you'll get all the warranties and stuff anyway. Well, hopefully. But if you build your own PC, you get all the warranties for all the individual parts. If something goes wrong because you put it together yourself, you usually have an understanding of how the computer works and what does what. So if something breaks, you usually know how to fix it because you've put it together yourself. Um, 
unless you're just following piece by piece exactly on a tutorial, but I just love this stuff. I, I always love this stuff and when I was looking up the videos on how to do it and trying to figure out how to do it myself and I got my own PC parts, I was just in enthralled by it and I just wanted to learn more. So I sat down for ages and just studied how computers work and how different stuff interacts with each other and it was super fun and I, I want to build another computer now, but I can't because I don't need one and I don't have space for one, but if I do I'm gonna <laughs> um, I might play more of this though, and again I want to build my one I want to see if I if my one is actually in the game. Can I go back to I'll oh, save game Save game can I go back to main menu free build? I just want to see if the case that I have is in the game Power on computer to interact. Oh my god. But, you know, whatever. I'll come back to it again. It's a Corsair Carbide Air 540. And I love it because it's a cube. And in one side of the case is all the electronics, all the components, and all the stuff that needs air cooling. And then in another chunk, about this size, is where you put all the cables and the power supply and all the like hard drives and stuff go there. So anything that doesn't need um, air cooling goes in the back. And anything that does need air cooling goes out in the front, and it's super sleek because none of the cables get in the way, and it's all airflow all the time. It's amazing, even though I have a liquid-cooled PC here as well, those are a different beast, and those are much, much harder, and I've never put in liquid cooling myself. That actually looks exactly like my- the one I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This section right here is where the electronics go, and in that section is where the- the cables go. It's lovely. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like your boys! And hi guys all out. Thank you guys, and we'll see all you dudes. Give it up for the eye! Rocking out all day.